I certainly think there's a great deal of resilience and mental toughness that goes into you get down early. It's a playoff game. You know, for us, we have a number of new kids playing in this environment uh, this year, whether it be freshmen or a kid like Billy Seligman who didn't play in the playoffs last year. Um, so certainly there's a little bit of nerves, and that's to be expected. And the puck isn't quite as flat as you'd like it. It bounced a little bit more, but I think certainly they were they were a focused group. We had a really good week of practice. I think they knew how we wanted to play. Um, certainly we knew that New England would be a great opponent. They're a very skilled team, uh, really well coached. Uh, and so we knew it was going to be a really hard game from start to finish. And I think the guys weren't deterred or flustered you know, when they scored early. And then obviously as the game went on, I think we got our legs a little bit. Um, we got some momentum. Although we weren't maybe finishing as much, and they goalie played really well, and they, again, they're a good team. Um, you know, we got some chances, and that gave us some momentum. So even though we weren't scoring, I think the guys on the bench felt like we're playing well. Just keep going with it. it makes it easy as a coach. Uh, well, I, I think certainly the first thing is, and um, you know, our senior class, their freshman year, we lost this game. Uh, we were playing at home in the quarterfinals, and, and we lost. So they understand how hard you know any game during the course of the year is to win. But certainly you get to the playoffs and you know that you're staring down one team moves forward and the other one goes home and it's the end of the year. Um, there's no series here. There's no you know qualifying tournament. So I think for Mike uh, Driscoll and for, for Joey DiPietro and Andrew Bonazza, that, that experience they had not only having some success the last two years in the playoffs, but knowing how hard this game has really paved the way for us in the locker room this week. Um, really showing the guys, you know, how important every single day was. Everything we did had to be at our best. Um, and that, you know, there wasn't any opportunity for the guys on the team to, you know, take a second off because Mike and Andy, Andrew and, and Joey did such a great job really instilling um, the culture that, you know, hey, this is, everything's heightened this week. Everything's that much more important. We need to be on task. We need to be at our best every day in everything we do. So I think... Having the adversity as a freshman uh, became a good teacher um, for them to be really as the leaders of our program um, and set the tone for the weekend. Because really, I think the leadership in any endeavor, it's not in between periods before the game. Uh, it's not a rah-rah speech. It really is the tone that's set during the course of a season. They've done a great job as captains. Um, but then certainly as things get a little more heightened, and it, it would be beyond expectation to think that guys weren't nervous tonight whether it be a freshman, a sophomore, or a junior, um, you know, it's hard to win. And so they they really set that tone all week so that you get to Saturday. It's not easier, but you're not looking for the new rock and you win one for the Gipper speech at this point. You know, it's been instilled over the course of the week. Yeah, well, you know, obviously we're playing UMass Boston, who might be one of the best teams in the country, you know, certainly a top three, four, or five team in the country. Um, incredibly explosive offensively, just a, a tremendous amount of skill. You know, really, really high-end hockey players at the at the highest level. Um, so, you know, geez, I think I saw at one point they had 10 or 11 goals tonight. So we know that they're a great team. They beat us in their rink, um, you know, and, and really played great against us. They always play great against us. They're really well coached. They're going to be fired up for it, I'm sure. Um, you know, they worked really hard to get the number two seed and be that high seed to have this semifinal game at home. So, um, geez, we know we're up against a real formidable opponent and, and just how hard it's going to be. And, and, you know, we'll just try to put in a good week of work and be ready uh, to play our best next Saturday. But certainly when you look on paper about UMass Boston and, you know, the scoring depth they have and the seniors they have and the veteran leadership um, and, the, and the battles that they've been through as an older team, uh, it's really impressive. We're just going to have to have a great week, and, and we'll give it our best next Saturday.